Welcome to Set the Record. I'm Malcolm Anthony, and we got Cody here, Houston's yes, very own. Subscribe to the show wherever you listen, wherever you watch the show as well, YouTube, Anchor, of course, Google, Spotify. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Set the Record Pod. Like the Facebook page, Set the Record Podcast. Of course, we've got another great show for you today. Uh, it's been a long-awaited return, and we've got Cody, obviously, uh, to fill in a great chair. So, uh, thanks for you know joining, Cody. This is a very nice chair. <laughs> <laughs> Your chair is actually much better than mine, I can tell. Uh, but look, man, we've got an amazing slew of things that have been happening in sports over the last, you know, obviously weeks, months, and leading up to today. Uh, what'd you like over the last weekend? We just had All Star festivities in. The great state of Utah, they say. Man, I think the <laughs> only day, the only only good things that came out of All Star were the uh, the three point and the dunk contest. Surprisingly, I didn't I didn't feel like any of the um, everything else. It was it was off. Like the All Star game didn't feel like an All Star game. The the rookie contest it was cool, but it was like nothing too great. And then the skills challenge was just embarrassing for the NBA. I. I was watching it, cringing at the fact that NBA players couldn't make open threes. It, it was ridiculous. Oh, them shots, man! I, I would they end up with like two or like I mean that was two, bad. and it's because they took a close shot, man. And what hurts yeah, me that, even more is that my guy was there, bro, Jabari Smith Jr. Because you know I'm a Houston good, fan. Though, man. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's a shooter, right? His percentages don't you know say that, but he can shoot. And he was yeah. missing so many open shots from the top of the key where he could just take his time and they were just bouncing in and out. Those are the misses I hate when they just continuously bounce in and out. Well, it's not like they had anything to be nervous about. There wasn't no, there wasn't no big celebrities out in Utah, man. Ain't nobody show up for the game. <laughs> nah, that's facts, man. I don't know. There's, <laughs> they there's nothing to do in Utah. <laughs> for real, though. Yeah, even the Mormons are bored. But look, man, we uh, they actually what I thought was funny the the celebrity game they played more defense in than the game on Sunday. Uh, oh yeah, uh, you know the only defense on Sunday was LeBron blocking poor Shea, man. Shea, my guy, man. Shea's my guy. Right. And LeBron and, dirty did him right. dirty for his first game. Hey, but you know what? LeBron did get hurt trying to play defense. So I think yeah, after that, that, you know yeah, they they're the, trying to be more careful, but. No, I mean, yeah, I feel I like yeah, a level of defense can be played, but like, you know, as long as you're not going 110%, like Devin Booker, whenever he plays the All-Star game. Yeah, well, man, hey, you know, I think Jason Tatum got a little bit of that sauce this last time, man. That, oh, that, yeah. that was a little, I, look, he got the record, sure, but it was, nobody played. It was horrible. Like, it was almost like AD when he broke it. Like, they just, it was a layup line for him that year. Uh, but no, I thought it was cool uh, that Dame won the three point. Uh, that was nice. Uh, we all like Dame. We're um, in the Weber State. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, but I, uh, the one thing in the in the three, in the All Star game is I wish they just get rid of the three point shot completely. Okay, it was, so you just mean take like out the, no threes? Take out the three point shot and make they'll make it'll kind of make the guys either drive in and take. A uh, little more, like un maybe more contested twos, you know, like Demar Derozan style. You know, what I mean, like, you know, I, it might make them play a little harder. I don't it, know. I have, I have like maybe an opposite counter to that, right? Where instead, because listen, you're gonna have guys come down and shoot from half court anyways. So why don't you just do it like the celebrity game and just make it a four point line? Instead, you know, at least that way, you know, you'll have a reason to shoot the three from half court instead of, you know, just instead of being just like, a, I'm a show off, you know? No, I feel that. No, I feel that for sure. I, uh, yeah, okay. I, I can dig that. That's not too bad. So with the all-star game, the games are over. The, the, the season has started back up uh, tonight and we got 23, 24 games left uh, for some of these teams. You see anybody making a push? Do you see anybody, you know, coming out that's not in the playoffs now, uh, you know, making a making a run? Maybe not making like a run like at the at the championship, but I think a team to keep an eye on right now is a team that really can't afford to take any losses. That's the Lakers right now. OK, because, yeah, going you know, one of my squad, where they're where they're currently starting, you know, they're. You know their their off season is their season is starting zero zero right now, and they're starting at the thirteenth seed. They you know they have a semi easy schedule coming up, 
but they can't afford to lose any of those games. So, you know, they have the Warriors tonight. I think that game's going on as we're recording. They have the Warriors yep. again. Yep, and they yep. play against the Thunder one more time. Yep. So it's like they have to take advantage of these easy games if they really want to make the playoffs. And now that they have a, a fresh slate of players, you know, some players who want to contend and want to actually make the playoffs, you know, I think it's a it's a good time to start looking at them. Focus on no, their games. Right. They, they're going to be playing with passion. They're going to want yeah, to try no. to play. LeBron's going to not sit out as much, you know, because he needs to play. He needs to be in these I'll, games if they want to be competitive. That's right. I might be I might be in OKC when they come uh, in March. Uh, you know, the Lakers OKC uh, game. I got to I got to go see the King play. So, uh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Uh, yeah, I agree. The Lakers got to go 17 and six roughly to to make it uh, something like that. They got to be real strong throughout these next uh, 20 so games. Yeah, I got a couple teams. I like I like Milwaukee, man. I like Milwaukee. They're not out, you know. They're obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. they're number two right now, a half game out of Boston. But that's without Middleton been in the lineup, bro. Like Middleton's right, right, been right. out. Like he's been out. What I got my nose right here. Middleton's been out for uh, twenty seven, uh, uh, what forty one games, right? Forty one games, right? He only plays seventeen. So what do you do with that? See, that's the thing. I don't know about because the 17 games he has played, he hasn't they're looked like Chris three. Middleton. They're 14 and three with him. They're 14 and three with him. Uh huh. Wow. This okay. season, that's 14 a, that's a with him. They're that's 27 and 14 for without sure. him. Hmm. 27 and 14 without him. 14 and three with him. Dog, that's pretty. That's pretty telling. It is, and and that's. Well, it makes it interesting because Chris Middleton, you know, they may be 14 and three, but Chris Middleton hasn't been Chris Middleton. Not but I yet. think just the idea that, that he is Chris Middleton is right. enough attention for the rest of the team to go off. Yep. Right. So just just having him on the floor in general, having him be a distraction, even if he's not making shots, you know, it takes it takes away attention from Drew Holiday, who's had an all star year from Giannis, 100%. who's going to do him whenever. MVP. You know? Right. MVP. on. I still got I still got Jokic doing it, but. Nope, you cannot give it to that man. You cannot give it to Jokic. We'll talk he has, about that he has more day. wins this year, but yeah, we'll, we'll come we'll back to it. talk about that another day. We'll, we'll have come back to, to it, yeah. Man, I tell you what, that's a debate. Or uh, I might no, have a different opinion by then because, you know, the NBA changes. <laughs> it does, it does, yeah, no doubt. No, I, I got Giannis right now, but that's, okay. like I said, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix is another team. Uh, they have no excuses, right? Yep. Well, Phoenix, on, they man. just got to hope they... On. No, they don't have an excuse, but they just got to hope that they stay healthy because they traded yeah, their right. depth, right? Yeah. You know, if Chris Paul goes down with a hamstring again, you know. It, it's going to happen. I just got flashbacks at that, man. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I know. I'm sorry. I know you you, you would know of all people. Mm -hmm. You would know. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. And really, really, um, it's. I mean, it's all of them. It's it's Booker. It's, For sure. It's, it's Durant. It's, it's, it's Aiden if he's, you know, pouting. It's, it's, it's. Chris Paul, like you said, is hamstring, man. It's all might be the X factor. And he's kind of the X factor, yep. you know, because he just he needs to get 10 and 20 or 15 and 10, you know what I mean? Like yep, that year that they made not, that run, that was him. No points, but get he's the presence and he's dominant, man. And he can get you anything. He can get a bucket. He's very right. good. He's un under underrated center, no doubt. Unfortunately, though, I think that his touches are going to go down. They have to. Now, now that they Kevin Durant's having the ball, like he's, they already didn't look to feed him right yeah now that they're adding another shot taker another person that's going to take the ball he has to be more aggressive with the touches he gets you know because now he has to really like savor them and get the most out of them even if he's not scoring he's at least got to create an opportunity for somebody draw a double team down there which is going to be hard to do because you're going to help yeah, off of Kevin Durant <laughs> you know yeah no you single everybody yeah. in this case unfortunately that's all you could do single that's what I'm saying up. though but if he has a mismatch he needs to take advantage of that yeah. If he gets yeah, out there the and he's being guarded by Montrez Harrell, that's Chris Paul's job. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and the thing is, with that, in those situations, which is going to be far and few between, he's Aiden is just he's your guy who's going to have to get tip ins. He's your yeah. guy who's going to get ha offensive rebound. That's 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 his role right now. You know, re rebound and hustle, man, and, and and block block a hell of a lot of shots. And that's Kevin Durant too. He's going to need to play some D because uh, they lost, like you said, a hell of a lot of depth. Um, He's been Russell to the Clippers. Russ to the Clippers. Oh, I have mixed opinions on this. Right, right now, they're thirty-three and twenty-eight. Right? Yeah. You think that you think they stay above five hundred with Russ? You think they stay above five hundred? 
They'll be above 500. I just think... I think they still make the playoffs with They'll us. make the playoffs, but come playoff time, they won't be the same threat. Okay. I don't think Russell stays on the team by playoffs. I think they cut him. You think they cut him? I, either yeah, they I cut think, him yeah, or I they think, don't play him. I think they'll cut him. I think, man, because he's going to... He's toxic. You saw that. It's not like him himself. He's a good man. Like, we all like Russell. Okay. He, he's demonstrative. When he's not getting Russell's basketball way, he's going to throw a fit. Uh, we've all we've seen that play out time and time. You had him in Houston. I've had him in Oklahoma City. I've had him with my Lakers. Look, I, we, I know what it looks like. Yeah. He's a powder. The, that's the thing. And like, I think the Clippers' success is really going to depend on Russell Westbrook. And I don't think it's going to happen because, in order for them to be successful, Russell Westbrook needs to change. But <laughs> everywhere he's gone, he's had like four chances to change his game. Yeah, and he has, he's been the same Russell Westbrook. If he doesn't have the ball in his hands, he's not going to be effective. The Lakers effective. have to take him off the bench so that he could, so that he could be Dude, effective. Yeah. But even then, and he, was. and he was still turning the ball over three times a game. And, right. and in those turnovers, that's what Kawhi is not going to take. Man, Kawhi can't. He's going to explode. You're going to see a robot shut down. Just. Mm. You, man, you, you, you heard him laugh. You came in this count. Come on. So yeah, look, look. Uh, I, 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 uh, I don't think they keep him. But that's 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 the NBA in a nutshell. You know what I mean? Like the you got any release other... of his contract? I haven't. I don't think I saw. I think I looked for him. I don't think I saw them. So I, I haven't seen any number report yet, and I'm looking for him. Trust me, because uh, I'd like to see what the buyout was. So it was a three. Was it three quarter? What, what they what they get? What they get at this? Right, man. I I really wanted you know for also Westbrook's sake for him to just go to a team where there's lesser stakes, where there's yeah. no pressure or expectations. Because now he's putting himself on the Clippers, where Clippers were already solid without Maybe him. Super Bowl. Yeah, and the Clippers already have a lot of pressure themselves. So in that locker room, you know, it, there's a lot of pressure. They've got to be feeling it. Russell has pressure to perform, to go back to being effective, playing good basketball. And the Clippers have to prove that they can either stay healthy in the playoffs and just go win it all. You know, if if they don't get to the finals, I think it's over for them. It's a fail. They have it's to get to, fail. you know, yeah, it's a fail. Yeah. Because yeah. they haven't yeah, been, I think, what's the furthest they've been? The conference finals or second they, round? They, I don't They've been to the second round. Second because round. They, they got the, the, the bubble finals, year was their best chance. And they got bumped by Denver when they were up three to one. And every game that they were leading by at least 20 or something. Yep. And they got bounced, man. And, they, and Denver walked them down. They, okay. wa- I mean, that was brutal. And Denver wasn't all that. I mean, come on. I like Jokic. I like Murray and all that. Their squad's nice. but It was super Murray in the bubble. It was. Right. It was. It, dude. Yeah. That was. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Man, I miss bubble play. They had nobody to play in front of. They were showing out, man. It was oh, yeah. awesome. Oh, Lord. Robert yeah, Covington man. playing center. <laughs> <laughs> As people, speaking of people showing out, you know, we got a guy who's actually been hiding uh, for the last few days. Uh, we'll jump to the NFL real quick. We got Aaron Rodgers uh, coming out of darkness. And I think, in fact, he saw his shadow. So there's, there's going to be a few more weeks of winter or something like that (laughs) (laughs) no look uh aaron Rodgers, uh out of darkness what's the decision this guy makes he's staying with the packers he's going to the jets he's going to the raiders what's happening i think it's just i think it's just a a whole lot of it's just it's just smoke i think he's staying he's It, it happens a lot, you know. The question happens every off season: Is Aaron Rodgers going to move? Is he going to retire? Is he doing this? Brett, this is that, and it just nothing happens. It's just it's a bunch of smoke. He's Brett Favre two point right? Right. Yeah. Lord, no, you're right. And you know what's funny is if you were reading my notes, I have him staying with the Packers. Uh, man, the Jets are the best fit, right? To me, the Jets are the best fit. Defense, offense, they got the weapons. They need to get a couple pieces on the offensive line, but that's they'll drag. He'll drag a guy from like Bakhtiari from the Packers. They'll they'll get they'll get that worked out. But the Raiders are fun, right? That's fun. Yeah, that's the Raiders the, are the fun back team. with Devontae. The, their offense will score. They need a quarterback. Their defense, their defense is trash, and they definitely need a quarterback. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I see happening as well. He's he's gonna stay with the Packers. I think the report was that if Tom didn't retire, he would have gone to the Raiders. Yep, that's what I saw as well. Um, and Mario, come on, man, that mm-hmm. that was that, that that was made made for Tom. But well, so now me thinking about it as a from a fan perspective, you know, since I am a Dolphins fan, 
I would rather him if he if he does leave, I'd rather him go to the Raiders over <laughs> over the Jets because um, you know, I don't need my division getting any stronger. Yeah, and he got the are- Bills to worry with. Every single time. Yeah, and the Bills, man, they're, they're no joke. But, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll see how it plays out next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until the playoffs. You cold, right. man. You cold. Hey, man. Well, you know what? Uh, cold, you know, cold. Things that, you know, I wish I wish my team – I had a team once. I, th- I think you might know this. I, I Washington Commandos, um, they got caught with their pants down, and, and so did the owner. And that's maybe why they're selling, right? Right. Um, so, so I had read, this is something that's near and dear to my heart. And I had to drop this team like a bad habit, but I see promise on the horizon. Uh, I had read today on a sports center, man. And they said that Jeff Bezos is inquiring, uh, uh, a little purchase in, in, into the Washington commandos. And, uh, I had also read that Jay-Z and, uh, Matthew McConaughey might be like, integral parts into this you know money deal as well so we'll see interesting uh, but yeah man i like i like uh getting a, a new owner involved not that i like bezos at all either but he's I'd better say. Than, he's i think better. i'd rather he's, is bezos a football fan I, I don't even know that man but he could deliver packages you know, <laughs> so, I, you know hey sponsored I, by amazon bro yeah not today yeah maybe tomorrow right but yeah no. <laughs> I'd like to think, you know, new a new new horizon, you know, either way. You know, I can't deal with this guy I got right now. So I'll take what I got. Uh and That's if if Jay Z's willing to get in bed with him business wise, uh, I, I gotta be able to deal with the two. So we'll see what comes out of it. I gotta say Jay Z feels like he'd be more more cultured when it comes to football. He might, you know, make some more winning moves. Yeah, no, I know. All, That's uh, yeah. Basil's will be in it for the money, and we've seen what happens when when the franchise owner cares more about money than the wins, it, it never oh, turns out great for the franchise. It's in general, man. <laughs> I mean, Cowboys. You talking too, about but... the Cowboys? You talking about the Cowboys, man? I know that. That's Jerry Jones right there. Oh, that's man. That's 20, 28 years. We're, man, come on, man. We we move it on. But yeah, yeah that guy happened. came with. They, they sure, should have. They should have sure. traded for uh, Tom Brady when they had the chance. Uh, but look. Uh, you know, guys who make winning moves. You, you mentioned it, right? Uh, Jake Paul, right? It seems Jake like a Paul. guy who makes winning moves. He can't picks lose the right guy. He, yeah, can't lose. 6-0 and oh in the ring. Uh, he's fought basketball players. He's fought wrestlers. He's fought UFC fighters. Uh, but no boxers, right? No real boxers, yeah. No real boxers. So this is his first test, right? Tommy Fury, 8-0. and oh. Both of these guys got four knockouts under their belt. Uh, nothing special. Uh, neither one of them. <laughs> so yeah. Really. Uh, but Tommy's got pedigree. He's got a brother, heavyweight champion of the world. Tyson, no joke. His father, obviously, uh, a skilled trainer. They know what they're doing. He's been fighting for a long time. Uh, really, it should be in his DNA to dominate this fight. Like, honestly. Like, this yeah. it should just be no problem. But we've seen Jake Paul's fights, and we've seen that he's got a hell of a hook. And if he lands it, you might fall asleep. Ask yeah. Tyron Woodley because that guy he's twice. Oh well, no, he didn't fall asleep the first time, but he fell asleep the second time. He, he fell asleep for sure the second yeah. time. And, uh, yeah, and there's there's no telling uh, what this dude is doing. And you know he's training. You know he's really training. He's really sparring. He's really doing this. Uh, you just got to watch them hooks. You know, he's got, got some right. crazy hooks. Hey, but he sets up that hook, man. He makes you think he's going to go low, so he can lower that guard. You know, that's how he. Yeah. That's how he got Nate. I mean, oh, Tyson. I forgot he did. He got Anderson. Well, Silva he got Nate too. too. He, Silva didn't go he, down though. Silva's big. I didn't think and see. I thought he. I thought he lost the Silva fight personally, but but uh, they gave him the win on the scorecards. I watched the whole thing. I was like, mm-hmm. I don't know. It looked like Silva was doing more, well, but that's the fight that made me respect Jake Paul more than I did because. You know, Silva, he, he knew what he was doing oh, more than any of his other opponents. And, you know, Jake Paul actually showcased real boxing skill there. So, yeah, no, absolutely. You, know, you can't really say that he's not a real boxer anymore because he's fought like we could, put, even though Silva is 50, you know, and I think a prime Silva would have would have knocked him out. You know, Silva still was in a box. Yeah, yeah, he's no, you know, he he's was no scrub. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's no scrub. No, you're right. And, 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 and him in the ring alone with Silva was was impressive you know uh, yeah so, so yeah the, both of these guys uh you know two o'clock espn so yeah. we'll i'm asking the question though who do you think has more pressure on the fight 
Who's got uh, Pratt and Tommy, man. Tom, He's a real I fighter. I agree. I agree. Yep. He's a real fighter. Say, this is embarrassing. Mm-hmm. And he got his whole family, like a whole lineage of like champions, you know. I've heard there's there's been stuff going on with his family. If he loses, if he disgraces the name, it's he not out. gonna be good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got we got we got the lynch mob going after him off with his head, man. They're gonna drop him in the guillotine. You don't know how they play in UK, man. This oh, ain't gonna yeah. work for him. <laughs> the only pressure that Jake has at this point is if if he does lose this fight, the the new narrative's gonna be like, no, you really aren't real boxer. You know, like this is what happens when right. you step in with the big boys. Are you real? Know? Yeah, agreed. But at the end of the day, Jake falls back on the excuse of I'm a content creator first, you know? Yeah. And that's and he he's smart like that because he knows like the second he loses, he has it in the back, he has it in his back pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he knows. But real talk, is this fight gonna happen? Oh man. Honestly, first thought, I say no. When the boy didn't show up to the press conference, I said no. And the whole when the thing got announced, I said no. And now that it's you know two days away, I still say no. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying no until they're both in the ring facing <laughs> facing each other and the bell rings. When that when that bell rings, that's when I believe this fight's happening. Once I see that first hook get thrown, that's when I see the that's when I believe it. Okay. No, it's, I buy it. There's been multiple buy, times where it's it's yeah. something goes down, you know, somebody sprains this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There was somebody spleen or something. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, it's always something with these guys. But yeah, no, I agree. That's uh that's pretty that's pretty good take, man. I'd like to agree with you on that. Uh, but that's that set the record for it today, man. That's uh, that's what we did. We knocked it out the park. Great job today, sure. Cody. Uh, thanks for watching the show. Uh, subscribe to the show wherever you watch or listen. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Set the Record Pod. Like the Facebook page and uh, meditate. Make it go away. Peace. We out.